Welcome everyone to Juno's Just Commentary. So by popular demand for a video where I reacted to the Thailand street food, I got a request to react to a video of course out from Thailand where a foreigner is living in Thailand and he's doing videos about the street food of Thailand or the food or restaurants of Thailand. Of course, I want to thank you guys of course for subscribing to Juno's Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Don't forget of course, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Hey everyone, so this video is entitled, of course, Thailand food at Ampawa Floating Market. Thailand seafood fast food. Thailand seafood fast cooked on a boat. Okay. Mark Wayne, of course, is the wow. Wow, Mark Wayne is a YouTuber, of course. Jeez, look at that. I'm Power Floating Market Tall. Wow. Alright, met up with Mike. We are driving on our way to Ampawa. It's located in a province called oh, Songkran. Beautiful it's weather. About an hour and a half from Bangkok. But this is a really popular floating market, especially a lot of Bangkok people. So, what a mini floating market, really? To hang out. So, the market, like on a, a dock or something? So it's going to be cool to go there and eat with Mike. I'm excited. I mean, I'm floating have market. Noodles that's on land. Now, maybe I'll get some on, actually on a boat. That's a big market. Ooh, vegetable market that is, Sean. All right, we just made it to Ampawa. Wow. This is one of the most famous and one of the biggest and probably one of the busiest Shh, look at floating food, markets boy. in all of Thailand. Uh, this is an afternoon So why do they call market. it a floating so market? Uh, about 2 or 3 p.m. is, is when it like, really gets started. I don't get it. People come here. Why floating market? Why well, God, look at the food. One of the main alleys is food clustered on both sides of us. Oh, snacks boy. you can imagine. You can just come here and eat non-stop. Fish. I love the fish. My gosh. That is some serious a lot of food meal. To choose from. There's so many different things, so we have decided to stop for some fried fish cakes in Thai. They're called Padman. Mm -hmm. And then we also got... We Did they just serve the food in a plastic bag? They're so pretty. It's they like are. And it's just so pure, man. It's just an egg. Wow, that, that's, that's looking delicious. Wonderful. There's some chili Ooh. seasoning you should put on there. I can't wait to have it. Alright, so what do you want to try here? <laughs> fried fish cake? Yeah, sure. Let's try the fried fish cakes. And these are, it's a combination of minced that's, fish. That's banana leaf. Paste. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has some kind of curry flavoring. Oh, in I like it. the fact and that he's putting the price on there. The basil leaves. Alright. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, it's really juicy. That's three R's, and that means it's good. <laughs> oh, that's really tasty. That's delicious. <coughs> that's delicious. Yeah. Airy, wow. spongy. It's. These are called eggs. You can really taste the. Wow, uh, look at that. Taste in there. I never the thought of doing that. Next up, we got these little quail eggs, which you know they come on because they're quail? so pretty. And they're sitting in well, it's not, it's like a, it's like swan, right? And uh, they just kind of look like I don't know, little sunflowery. <laughs> that is a yellow. serious one lot of eggs. Yeah. What? I love them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, looking like that too. If you love fried eggs, there's no way you won't love fried quail eggs. Yeah, but that's a lot of it's eggs. It's really well. So the, the yolk is not too runny, which I don't like. It's not that's too a, hard. That's the stove. Starchy. Yeah. Um, and then you can also taste, she, she added, she sprinkled on some Salt. soy sauce, like soy yeah. sauce. Mm. And it's called Maggi sauce. I, I feel like this needs some chili. I don't know. Wow. Chili would be good. Since we happen to be sitting at a table that has some chili vinegar, yeah. we might as well make use of our resources. In it's, it's a little too sour. I'm surprised eggs. persons there are not extremely like, like yeah, big. Yeah. That'll wake you up. Maybe don't do that. But these <laughs> fish cakes. This is a lot of ridiculous. food. I really like both of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dare we? Mike just had the brilliant idea. Ah. Combine the both snacks on one skewer. <laughs> Did you get some basil in that one? Wow. Like that? I'm going up, dude. dude I'm I'm look at this. Fish in there, man. Fish in there. Oh, there we I go. look and delicious. I'm going to dip the egg in that yeah, sauce. Here. Cucumber on the tip? Yeah. Christian innovation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> hey! That's where it's at. That's a winner. Yo. I'm always a huge fan of, especially quail eggs. 
quail eggs are wonderful. Little That's bite huge. sized of just pureness. Should we try some of these? Wow. What's those? Oh. <laughs> uh, thai, thai this thing is called Kanom Ban Si. Uh. This is a snack that's not all that common everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're kind of like what little curry puffs. Curry puffs. They look like little dumplings. Like, yeah, just those yeah. Like bite sized snacks. We, that we have something like that called um, Titi Wee. Why is the fish? The fish is like jerky. Yeah. yeah, we do something like that, but we call it titi. We acra, so we take in a small fish, you mix it like in batter, between, uh, and then you roll in it, and then you fry it, or you can flatten it's it like and fry it. Things that's kind of sweet, but it's very oniony and garlicky mm -hmm. at the same time. Wow. There, I don't know if I can eat a whole bag full of those. Yeah. But me too. <laughs> don't eat the whole bag full because your stomach needs space for the other delicious. Yeah, we do wow, try those are Mark shells. Are stopping for the next fruit food snack, and this is kind of a Thai innovative snack because it has cheese on it. So we've got scallops. <laughs> and then it looks like cheese. What's that? Hey! Oh, any cheese going, my Oh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Oh, so there's cream cheese and then there's fresh cheese, and then she grills them over the fire. Wow. Um, and then yeah, they're just very very small scallops. This is more of a modern Thai street food snack. A very modern Thai street food snack. That's innovative. I like the fact that they're recycling or reusing the shell. Oh my gosh. She said we gotta eat it hot and fast. So it is, it's It's very hot in our fingers. Right off the grill, that cheese is all melty and oozy. All right, man, we just gotta scrape it off. <laughs> That looks delicious. Mm. Oh, Melted awesome. cheese. Whoa. That's amazing. You are awesome. <laughs> that is, that is I maybe I missed the price. I'm not much, much for this. And I got a little bit of caramelized cheese on the on the shell. That, that's that's so good, man. You don't want any of that to go to waste. Not at all. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Maybe that's delicious. Yeah, maybe it's because the cheese is so gooey and good and I'm, I'm partial to that. But that scallop's got some beautiful sweet. I wonder what they do this shell after you. Off. Yeah, it is. So guys, remember, so guys, remember Mr. Boy Scallops. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mr. Boy Scallops. I'm still trying to wonder why they call it a floating market. So you will, when you come here, you'll definitely be with a lot of people. It gets pretty sweaty in some of these alleys as well, but you can smell all the aromas of the food, and wow. it's so worth it. We've been snacking. For That's a, a lot already, of food and a lot of persons. The main canal, the Ampawa Canal. Is that why? This is like where the floating market happens. These are where the boats are. So right along the so that's the okay. Water, so I get it. Of different boats, all serving a variety of different things. They have pad thai. They have different noodles. They have different seafood. Uh, mm, just wow. Seafood, which is grilled, uh, and then they and do this, have sort of like oh, almost wow. like stadium seating, where you can, if you're lucky, you can grab a seat. It's kind of it's kind of packed and kind of tricky. That to I'm get a thinking seat, it's we'll be able to get a seat. It looking very much compact. Wow. So these persons who are on the boat, they're not from here, they, they come there with the boat and then... We just got uh, pretty pretty much front row seat game. It almost feels like you're at a sports game. And there's <laughs> and then they have all the boats <coughs> and the food. But when Mike and I are ordering together, I think we got every seafood that is visible. We got the wow. jungle prawns, we got Squid, we got crab, squid. And yeah, I don't um, think I've, 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 I've never bread, eaten squid. You know? You want oh, to no. get everything you can. You rather get too much than too little. You want to get everything you see. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you, you're like, oh, man, I wish I got that fish the other day. Fish. Oh, I totally forgot about the fish, man. I forgot. Oh my, that's a big, big meal. We we don't have any square space of table left. This is an Oh wow. That That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, kind of fly is there. Uh, oh, you should eat the fish. Yeah, in the Let's fish, it. it's gonna attract the flies. Up. You can see it oh on my the gosh. Boat, big pieces of squid. And what's yeah. cool about this piece of squid is that there's eggs in it. Can you see those wow. eggs? Wow. It's just stuffed with eggs. Yeah. Alright, so dip it in the sauce. Alright, secret right, sauce. Good thing. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Is the fish gill still intact? Watch it. In my country, you take out the gill, like that's the, in the mouth of the fish, you have to take that out. I'm quite sure I saw it there. Here, here it is. Because usually when you use squid, it's like chewing a little bit of rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that's in your mouth, that's the only texture you taste. Wow, this is so expensive in my country. Like lobster and the sort of things. That's an expensive meal right there. Very expensive. So these are, these are, yeah, these are river prawns here. Actually, the heads are the heads are pretty big. We calling it um seaweed. These are these are like, like no no seaweed. Sorry, we did it wrong. Crayfish. Crayfish. Seaweed is like a crab. What's in the head? You gonna eat the head? Oh yeah. Oh Whatever. my. You gotta like kind of. You can almost break off that head shell there. This is very expensive. What I, like to do is tear off that outer shell I don't know for Thai, in Thailand, but in my country that's expensive. Right in there. And that much yeah. on the plates? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's the good stuff right there. Okay, so what do we do? We just, so we just suck it, suck it. Um, you can or you can just taste the pureness of it. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, I, I like how you said that. Just eat it as the pureness of it. <laughs> Wow. It's almost very icky. It's <laughs> pudding. It's a little bit bitter. It's a little bitter. It's awesomely good. That's nice. Oh, wow. Mm, That's sweet, a big fish. You get so meaty. Let's, let's jump on the crab. What kind of crab are oh, wow. That's a it's massive like crab. crab. In Thai, it's called budam. It looks a little like stone crab. At least the claws do. Yeah. Look like stone that looks like a massive one of my crab. Things from the sea. Look at the size. Of yeah. The crab, man. yeah! I mean, look at that. That's like. Hey! Oh gosh. And they've cracked it all already, so. Yeah, it's, it's just open. Semi easy for us to eat it all. Yeah. Look wow, at look at the flesh there. And we have to just give this another dunking in the in the seafood sauce. Oh, that works like a, like a mitt to scoop up some of that sauce. Wow. Oh. Some sweet I have a question. Is Mark the one recording all the video? Like he has somebody there recording for him? Because I must admit, he's he, he's pretty good at this video. Wow. Okay, look like people comment. Okay, that, that is to travel. That's good to travel. So this is a river. Um, in China, we have this saying called Chigawar. Oh, well, he's from China. Which means eating for fun. Uh huh. So we, the crab is one of those foods that we consider. You don't eat it to get full. You yeah. eat it to enjoy yourself. Wow. Almost like as an entertainment. That yeah. is very interesting. It's a good thing we decided to get the the two crab, the two crab platter. <laughs> it's so sweet, man. It's really good. So sweet. And it's so meaty. So in Thai, this is called bap hao. Wow. And this is a. Uh, let me get a look at his face real fast. It's a um, it's a bakapong, which is a barramundi fish. So it's what they do is they salt crust it. They they, they actually fill it with some herbs. Probably, there's probably some lemongrass and maybe some pandan leaves within the, the within the, the cavity of the fish. Wow! And then they coat it in a salt, in a big like layer of salt, and then they grill it on the fire. Look at this! Look how flaky the flesh is. Look how juicy! Wow! It falls apart. So but tender. And then you gotta give this a nice bath in the. Why are they eating? They're not eating the skin of the fish usually. We eat the skin, but well, I mean, you have to skin off this. Mm -hmm. well, I feel like this really does need the chili. Yeah, oh does my gosh. It does. Like, you see what they're so pushing off the, the side there? We eat that. So that is the best part of the fish, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. The crunchy part of the fish. I'm just realizing something. Is it. Customary in Thai to eat with chopsticks. I eat it a lot too. I now notice they have not chopsticks. Not only is it good, but it's actually very, very healthy. Yeah, it's just pure fish. There's no oil. Uh, there's no. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just pure fish, so it's very healthy. There's no fishy flavor to it whatsoever. Whatsoever. Yep. It's so clean. We also got a couple plates of green papaya salad. This one is tambubala. Tambubala. Crab and fermented fish sauce. This was sort of just a just to change up the flavor of the seafood. Yeah, I mean, you need some something refreshing. Well, we gotta listen to our parents and give our Well, I seen they have a knife and a fork there. That's yeah, plastic that's stuff there, the clear thing. Average, so, and then 30, with the view 30 the US, right is it? 1060 uh, Baha. Was, was so, that, is that 30 US? It's not gonna be the best Thai food that you have when you eat from a boat. 
uh, you eat here mostly mostly for the atmosphere and the ambience and the novelty and the fun of it. Uh, which it definitely is very, very fun. Yeah. Uh, but the food is it's okay. It's uh, okay. I think probably my favorite thing was the crab. The crab was actually really, really good. Uh, tasted quite fresh and the meat was so, <laughs> so sweet and natural. And In my and country? Actually. Somebody can't be recording like that, be like, what are you recording me for? Don't be with the camera, you man! Don't record me! <laughs> but everyone there is so chill and, and... Wow. Wow. You just grab chilies at your will. I cannot leave Thailand without trying Miang Kha. 29 cents per stick, 10 baht. such a colorful variety of little tiny ingredients that she chops up. There's a whole little wedge of lime, there's shallots wow, in there. Wow, that is ginger, innovative. Um, and then she adds the, the like it's almost like a caramely palm sugar dressing wow. that she puts in here to wrap it all together. And so I you eat the leaf too? Lime in there. That's yep. actual. Maybe she didn't There's actually a wedge of lime. No, no, no. You eat the you eat the skin and all. So you can expect like a jolt of sourness, citrusiness. And we so eat it. Pepper. What do we do? And we're gonna pepper? we're gonna chase it with the chili. Chase it with the chili. Let's eat one and chase it. Wow. The leaf and all. <laughs> Mm. Gosh, I, that's a lot of food like though. Vegetarian vegetable candy, man. Whoa. This is actually really remarkable. It's, it's awesome. It's fragrant, it's sour, it's sweet. Wow. It's like flavorful. Oh, we need more I, want, I, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder what leaf is this. Oh, thanks, man. Red or green? I'll go green. No. I'm <laughs> I wonder what leaf is that. It's refreshing too. It's yeah, that is sweet. Wow. But it's something you really have to try when you come to Thailand. Thailand is flavors. food heaven. That's like Thailand in a single bite. So many colors, variety, innovation in terms of cooking. We have a little wow. <laughs> This, this, this is not Thai food, Mark, but uh, I saw wow, those that's food. nice. It's got a little, look at this, a little thummy thing. It's a little mitt of little bite sized ice cream. Wow, I don't know much for this. My, one of my all time goals in life is, is to eat an ice cream cone one bite. I know you yeah, can do it. Like, seriously. But <laughs> this looks delicious. I'm going to take a little green one. I'll eat the cheese flavor. flavor. I don't okay, know I'll, I'll, go, I'll go vanilla. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is vanilla. Yeah, look at this. A little bite size. Oh, this is lime sorbet. sorbet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cheers, tiny ice cream. man. It's very one cool. Bite. Yeah. That's going to be bright freeze! <laughs> that was funner than I thought. <laughs> That's going to be bright freeze right there. It is pretty cool because you like smash the wow. ice cream as you bite down. I need, I need Look at the food, yo! Look at the food! Yo! Oh my god, I will get so big if I go up there. I will definitely get big. Uh, this is this is called Tunnel Mpo, which is oh my uh, coconut milk custard. And then this one here is uh, like an egg yolk custard. <laughs> wow. That is very pretty. That's beautiful. That wow. Beautiful. I like that. So that is the, that looking very nice. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Like little, almost like bite-sized little cup, cupcakes yeah. Yeah. Uh, with, with wow. banana leaves. Yeah. So they've kind of made this kind of trendy. It's this kind of beautiful. beautiful. It wow. is nice. And it's cool that you get to keep the, the clay pot that's, as well. That's what's really awesome about this is that, look, and this, yo, this is something you'll buy in the U.S. like, you know, at, at, at a store. What's the, what's the rest of I have no idea. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm getting random This food. is yeah. so oh, delicious oh, looking. Oh, what is this green oh stuff? Oh my Ooh. gosh. Uh, tapioca on the Hey! Oh, listen to that! Uh, Whoa! Look at the tapioca! Oh my gosh! You keep digging further and you get new things. This is like an... Mine don't afraid dumb. Most of what you don't see is on the bottom. Yeah, there's... Look at wow. the wow. Oh my god! Oh! Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I like it. Oh my gosh. If I am ever there. there. If I am in Thailand. Uh -huh. you get the corn I definitely have to make sure I have a gym close by because I will get beat. So I'll make sure as soon as I come out on something like that, I go and exercise because I can't I can imagine. Within the bottom there, there's corn and taro. Oh, I just saw the taro. Like little starchy pieces of taro in there. It's crazy. A lot going on. It's very creative. 
I mean, I'm always expecting to find like a prawn down here. <laughs> but oh man, that would be a lucky bite. Oh, someone is on another camera oh, for him. A little a bit of a different texture, a little crunch. Mmm. Arrow in that bite. Mm. What is going on? Wow. Thailand is beautiful. Why is that squid? Oh my. We found some horseshoe crab salad. Yeah. Uh, in Thai, it's called Yam Kai Meng Da. Two dollars and eighty-five, eighty-seven cents. Actual crab because it's rock hard shell. It's like a, it's like prehistoric. Wow, that's eggs. Creature. Uh, but what you eat are the eggs from the from the backside, and then I, they mix it with green mango. I yeah. see these on beaches all the time, like all the time. <laughs> wow. And and okay, so they're not. Edible Listen to me. Their own flesh. Grab one There's something about Caribbean people, <laughs> right? <laughs> actually, it's like, uh, can I we. But well, I know about Caribbean. Let me just say Caribbean people. But I see it happen a lot in Dominica. When the food is too good, people use their hands to eat. Like you'll be on the table there. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. You'll be on the table eating this, and you have to really get a good yeah, grip like, and hold it. Like ah, ah, yeah, because like this habit of trying to get your your food, mm -hmm. it's you're so really eager like to eat, and you have to coffee. take a spoon and try to. Oh, oh god! I'm, I'm but also, of course, one. table manners and courtesy. If you're in an area really where people are using spoon, you use spoon. But I mean, if you want to enjoy your food, I really believe the best way to enjoy your food is with your hands. Wash your hands properly and. And dig into it and enjoy it and because God give us our little hands so that well, not all but our little hands but God give us our hands so us to can enjoy our meals better if you ask me wow we have been eating all afternoon so colorful and bright a lot of fun what did you think about the floating market Mike well I love the food first of all and actually just oh, yeah. be able to see it wow that's a nice before. video this to be I've seen pictures never seen Mark person. Lane and it was a great experience so thank you so much for showing me around thank, thank you very much guys for requesting for, this video for hanging out and it's 20 minutes plus but nonetheless I didn't feel like it passed by it was pretty good box. go check out his awesome food videos and I want to say a big thank you to you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Definitely. it. Definitely. Wow. Tambourine. Is that tambourine? What's that from there? Already, subscribe. Click subscribe now for Definitely. Yeah, I'm subscribed. Goodbye wow. From Kampawa. That and was a good video. The next video. Thank you again for watching. Hey. hey. That was a great video. Wow. That was a great video, guys. I really enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for requesting it. Of course, guys, most definitely I have to and I need to and I want to come to Thailand. But just have patience. One day I will be in Thailand, of course. I'll get to see you guys. I'll get to enjoy the culture of Thailand, the music, the food, the people. Oh, it's gonna be a great journey. Thank you very much, of course, for subscribing to Juno Switch Just Community. Of course, go ahead and subscribe to Mac. Of course, most likely you are subscribed to Mac. If you have not been, Go ahead, I will post the original video, you will click on it and then it will take you to his YouTube, YouTube channel and there you can subscribe to it. Thank you so very much, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below. Thank you very much, bye guys.